Hi guys, John here. This video today is just going to be an update on my Aqua One Mini Reef 120. Um, it is a 120 litre uh, system for you guys that don't uh, know, uh, and it is uh, roughly around uh, three and a half months old. <clears throat> so this is going to be the third update of uh, this tank, and uh, I'll just give you info of uh, what's been happening before I get into it uh, too quickly. Uh, for you guys that uh, have been following me or know, I've had um, a bit of a problem uh, or something happened. Uh, my flame angel ended up uh, passing away. Uh, yeah, it ended up hitting the dust uh, after some unforeseen uh, problem, um, which I really did not know. Um, and the pet shops could not tell me what was wrong with it either. So um, it was just something that really couldn't... Uh, you couldn't really uh, fix, uh, it was just one of those things. Um, I ended up getting a Heraldi Angel, a black finned, if you can see there's a black line, That's a, it's a different rarity. And I ended up getting a bicolor Blenny, if you saw him swimming around, darting around. See if I can get a closer pick of him. See, there you go. That's off my new bicolor Blenny, you can see him picking at all the stuff um, and also for you guys that uh, follow me uh, I've got um, two two new pieces of coral um, I've got a green star polyp up there and then a new anemone and uh, I've just rearranged the zoanthids here in like a small cluster on top of this rock that's if it will focus there you go. I've got one zoanthid there, it just flew off, and then the two others there. <coughs> that one uh, closed up because the Blaney was actually on it, uh, doing, I don't know what he was doing actually. Uh, he was just lying on top. Um, so there's the new anemone. That's actually closed up because I just gave it a feed. Um, I just fed the anemone, and it's just coming out after it being fed. Um, and then the green star polyp is up there. <clears throat> which is really quite interesting and has covered the rock in a matter of what three weeks of having it um, and also for you guys that saw my elegance coral wasn't doing too good but now it is back and uh, and fighting fit if you can see everything is open it is absolutely amazing um, I ended up losing one of the heads of it if you can see that part at the back there was actually a small infection or yeah I'd say infection with the coral that I really couldn't fix so I actually had to cut that entire like head off <clears throat> with the scissors and then I just dipped it in some uh, reef dip I'll actually just show you that some reef dip And this is just an iodine, or iodine, however you pr pronounce it, solution <coughs> that disinfects the coral and helps it heal from uh, any uh, bacterial infections or wounds on it. Um, now, with saying all the new things I've gotten to the tank, I'm running, I ran into a bit of a problem. Um, obviously... Uh, a quite a common thing in marine in the marine hobby is ick or white spot and um, it can tra be transferred into from all fish all different fish just give you a close up of the blenny and how he's doing <laughs> and it can be transferred to most fish and uh, it comes on when there's stress in the tank or a new fish is added and I ended up actually, uh, the tank ended up contracting that and uh, there was quite a bit of problem because it did spread to the clowns and my heraldi angel. Uh, the rast didn't seem to be affected by it at all but everything else seemed to be quite affected by it and uh, it seemed to have taken over the, the tank a little. Um, and for you guys that don't know, um, ick is something that if not treated will infest the entire tank and will will basically destroy it uh, and uh, there's really no coming back from an infestation of ick uh, other than 
taking the clown, uh, taking in all the fish out of the tank, quarantining them, or and then um, quarantining them and then uh, dosing that quarantine tank with copper solution. I'm not entirely sure what the solution is or how you get it, or but I know it's a copper solution or some type of chemicals that coral can't stand. So if I dosed the tank with the normal chemicals, all the coral would die and the chemical would leach into the rock and uh, therefore you would not be able to hold coral in the tank anymore. Um, so that, I really didn't have the space or money for a quarantine tank, so I opted for the little bit more expensive option but it surely has worked and helped me out a lot and that is Polyplab Medic I can tell you hands down this is I've used this for what, two days now and it's about 95% eradicated all visible signs of ick or white spot on the fish <clears throat> and uh, if you can see the price of it for a small bottle, $75, is a lot. And all it is, I'll just take that tag off of it. <coughs> Don't actually need that anymore. So all that is, it is crystallized hydrogen peroxide. And see if it focuses. Comes with a little spoon and this whole bottle filled with crystallized hydrogen peroxide and all you do is dissolve this in the water um, and away you go with the ick treatment um, and this is completely safe for coral and the fish and it will not affect them um, I don't think they guarantee that it won't affect everything but it's like the nearest option that can go in a coral reef tank and I'm pretty sure that's the only medication slash solution that can go in a reef tank um, without killing the coral uh, which is fairly good so I'll just show you one of the newbies he loves to dart around the place uh, the heraldi angel I'll see if I can get a close look at him he loves to dart around the back and my clownfish always wants to to get in and if you guys can think of any names of any of the fish I haven't actually named them I'm open to to names so whoever uh, posts a name that I like will probably I'll probably end up naming the fish um, so that's quite interesting uh, <laughs> that's pretty interesting to me that I'll, I'll just name them whatever you guys want them to be so just post out in the comments what you think and uh, hopefully you get chosen to be the bearer of the names um, so back to the ick problem, uh, that problem <coughs> has seems to subsided quite a bit and um, I'm quite happy with the progress of the tank. Um, see if you can get a thing of the Heraldi. Um, and uh, it seems to be doing great, uh, the tank is looking really nice, there's only slight bits of algae coming. That's usually <clears throat> just on the corners of the glass and maybe a bit if you can see at the back of the glass but nothing as much as it was um, the only problem like the only reason it was a lot back then is just because the tank was cycling like still I'm pretty sure and you get the algae blooms and the what do you call it the diatom blooms and stuff like that so <laughs> look at that little guy really quite a cute fish you can see my male photon clownfish and my female already love my anemone uh, this anemone has been in the tank around two weeks but uh, for you guys that have followed me I got an anemone uh, before and it ended up like munching itself going up in the thing ended up killing itself <laughs> which was pretty funny uh, not for the tank uh, and also they're pretty expensive <coughs> expensive so that was not too good, but this is just a general update of the tank. Um, I don't think you guys have seen the sump all that much. Uh, um, that's going well. Uh, I've just got those bio cubes in there, and then that's all the filtration at the bottom here. I'm actually going to start up a refugium in there, and I've got quite a bit of room. It just cuts off there. 
So I've got about, I'd say just under a foot. Actually, let's, let's have a look how much. Yeah, so just under a foot. About four inches off a foot. Uh, off the refugium. And uh, I should be, uh, hopefully, that algae sub should subside from in there. Um, everything is going great. They're eating and uh, living life uh, very good. And I've also been getting a lot of coraly cor coralline algae. Uh, and if you guys can see at the back, I actually did end up getting a starfish. He likes to hang around the back there. He actually moved there this morning after a bit of a feed. If you can see, there's like a tentacle right over there in the middle. A little hard to see, but he's a nice orange starfish. Um, just like to say thank you to all the subscribers. Um, I've reached, I think, 1,530 subscribers, which is amazing. I never thought I'd get there. And, uh, you guys uh, comment on the videos uh, of what you want to see because I'm always <coughs> open to to what you guys want to see. If you want to see the quails, the chickens, the, the anything um, of the sort. The bearded dragons, I should be posting some there. I just haven't had the time. Uh, so thanks guys. Uh, this is update 3 of the tank and uh, everything's going well and I'll keep you updated.